Hi, I'm Elle. Thank you for joining me for Pom Pom Pandemonium. I'm going to take you through how to use your take home pom pom kit that you have either collected from your local library branch or you may have received in your home delivery with your books. If you don't have a kit, don't worry. A pom pom is very easy to make with things that you can just find from around the house. Okay, so you should have with you some wool. Any width is absolutely fine, although it's a good idea to have at least one little thin piece to wrap around the middle to sort of uh, keep your pom-pom together. In your kit, you have got some little stickers, but sticky tape will work just as well. You have also got a constructor, which is basically just a U shape made of cardboard. So if you don't have the kit, shape like this just cut out or have someone help you cut out a, a U shape out of a piece of cardboard and you will also need some scissors. Okay so the first thing you're going to do is grab your constructor. You are going to take your wool and with either sticky tape or a sticker you're just going to tape the start of your pom-pom into place just by taping the end of the wool to the edge of the U. What you're going to do now is start to wrap your wool around and around and around the edges of the constructor shape. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to speed it up for you. Now that you've wrapped all of your wool, you're going to grab your thin piece of wool, thread it through around all of the wrapped wool. And you wanna tie it into quite a tight knot around the middle so that you're keeping all of that wrapped wool tightly together. Okay, I'm going to tie it in a knot like this around the middle and for good measure I'm just going to wrap it around again because you really want when you cut the wool off you don't want all the bits to fall out the middle so I'm going to do one more really nice tight tight knot like that Okay, so now that your wool is wrapped all around the constructor and you've got a nice tight piece of wool knotted around the centre holding it together, you can take your pom-pom or what's going to be your pom-pom off the constructor right, like that. Okay, and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to start to cut the loops just a few at a time cutting my way through the center of the loops first on one side of the tightened ribbon like that. Yeah. and you can already see that side of the pom-pom how effective that is it's already nice and fluffy and then I'll do the same thing on the other side here just a few at a time there we go until you've cut through all the loops all right, like that 
Now all that's left to do is give your pom-pom a good fluff up. Now if you want to, you can always uh, have a go at trying to trim that pom-pom so it's nice and even, or you can leave it nice and shaggy and fluffy. And I'm going to show you a few different ideas of things that you can do now that you have a pom-pom. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. I wonder what you're going to do with your pom-pom. The winter school holidays are a really great time to snuggle up inside and do some craft, getting creative. The library has got some fantastic books with loads more crafty ideas. So you can have a search for those online. You can reserve them and pick them up at your closest branch or you can have them sent to your home through our Book a Book home delivery service. Check out the Hobson's Bay Library's website for all the online workshops and other activities that we're running over these winter school holidays. Have a wonderful time and we'll catch you next time. Bye.